Hello friends, welcome to Multiverse with uh, Chandrakant and uh, you know that we uh, come in front of you with uh, very interesting facts about celestial bodies. So we are eventually moving out of the solar system and we will be discussing something very very interesting today and what is that is uh, going to be? Uh, well it is a closest star to earth called Proxima Centauri. So, 10 interesting facts about Proxima Centauri coming up right now. So we have to get into the orbit as you can see we are in the orbit uh, around uh, Proxima Centauri and it is moving around it is rotating on its axis. We are also going around in our uh, imaginary uh, spacecraft. But did you know that Proxima Centauri is actually part of a three star system and uh, out of these three star systems. Proxima Centauri uh, is the closest star uh, to Earth and the entire system is called Alpha Centauri. So Proxima is closest to Earth. And uh, you must be knowing or you must be aware that uh, Proxima Centauri is roughly about 4.244 light years from Earth. That means the light itself takes more than four years to reach earth so whatever we uh, see today on uh, this star uh, will be four years old from our perspective because of relativity you know that you know so uh, moving on did you know that proxima centauri is a red dwarf star red dwarf star is a very special kind of a star in fact uh, if you look at uh, in the entire universe almost 70 percent stars are the red dwarf that means these kind of uh, stars are more common than our sun type stars which are yellow mid mid mediocre stars which are yellow in color but uh, the red dwarf are more uh, more seen in the entire universe uh, and they also have a long life so red dwarf are special uh, stars which are not as big as uh, our sun or even big as large stars and because of that uh, they have a very peculiar uh, you know uh, structure first uh, difference between red dwarf and our star sun is that the red dwarf uh, again is made of hydrogen and helium but the entire star consumes hydrogen and the entire star consumes hydrogen and convert that into helium so the nuclear uh, thermonuclear reaction which is going on is going on in the entire star unlike sun which is uh, which has layers and the thermonuclear uh, reaction happens only in the core that means the uh, hydrogen has uh, freedom to float around in uh, other layers but when it uh, reaches the core that is where the thermonuclear reaction happens so that is a big difference we will actually discuss more in detail as we proceed and did you know that uh, even proxima b has uh, three known planets right now and uh, uh, Proxima B is a second planet on the star system which is in the habitable zone that means it is on a Goldilocks zone which uh, uh, is the area around the star which can uh, you know have uh, liquid water very earth like uh, condition so from our point of view uh, Proxima B which is a planet going around uh, Proxima Centauri uh, may harbor conditions for uh, life. We don't know for sure, but I think uh, uh, lots will be revealed when James Webb uh, Observatory comes to life this year in few months from now. And I am sure uh, this is one of the major uh, exploratory uh, you know, uh, uh, point that we have to identify if there is a star, uh, the, uh, if there is life living on Proxima B. In terms of uh, size of uh, Proxima Centauri, it is uh, one eighth of the mass of Sun. So as I said, uh, the red dwarf stars are smaller and their thermonuclear reaction is quite slower as compared to larger stars. And if you look uh, at the size comparison, it is uh, probably 130 times the size of Jupiter. So if you bring in more mass, 
uh, into Jupiter, it will also become a red dwarf and so on. And in terms of the size of uh, Proxima Centauri, it is one seventh of the radius of uh, Sun. So you can imagine, you know, it is a very small star as compared to uh, the Sun, which is our star. And uh, it gives out uh, less heat. It is uh, and it burns slowly. It consumes its hydrogen slowly. The only difference is it uh, the, the thermonuclear reaction is happening in the entire star. That is the basic difference. And uh, it emits a lot of energy. It, it is small, but it does not mean that it is not em uh, emitting energy. It is emitting a lot of energy, but these energies uh, output is mostly in the infrared spectrum of the light. And when we say that infrared spectrum of the light is basically the longer wavelength and much cooler light uh, it emits. Unlike uh, if you go to the larger star, larger than sun, they emit the bluish light, which is quite energetic. And uh, even sun produce ultraviolet, which is harmful to humans. So most of the UV is stopped uh, by the atmosphere on Earth. But if you go to Mars, you will uh, get it. Uh, you know, you, there is a risk of getting exposed to very high UV radiation, ultraviolet radiation, radiation which is blue in color, basically. So the uh, red dwarf star emits most of the light in the infrared. And from our perspective, this light is not visible to humans. So even though we are able to see this pink uh, color uh, emanating from uh, Proxima Centauri, but there are still 85% of the energy we will not be able to see, um, you know, uh, using the naked eyes. So we need, uh, you know, some instruments to see what kind of energy uh, Proxima Centauri is emitting, just like any other red dwarf. Now let's come to the age of Proxima Centauri. It is actually older than Sun. So in terms of uh, estimated age, it's about 4.85 billion years, whereas Sun is uh, 4.6 billion years old. I mean, in terms of as of now. Uh, so it is slightly older. And as I said that it burns slowly. So it will have a more life, you know, Proxima Centauri being a red dwarf will live longer than Sun. So. Uh, as an estimate, Sun will survive for another 5 to 6 billion years, whereas Proxima Centauri will go on to for more time. And uh, how long uh, Proxima Centauri will survive as a star? Uh, estimate is about 4 trillion years because the thermonuclear reaction is so slow, it burns the hydrogen and convert that into helium is a very slow rate. So being a red dwarf, estimated uh, age for red dwarf is 4 trillion years you know it's like many many times uh, the age of uh, sun or even larger star because if larger the star shorter they live so being a small star it will live for very very long time i mean you can imagine 4 trillion years um, and if you look at the age of the uh, universe also it's only 13.5 billion years so most of the uh, red dwarf stars in our universe, including Proxima and Centauri, will have a very, very long life. And from that perspective, our universe is also in uh, its in infancy itself. So it has a long way to go along with the red star. I think as the time passes, only the red dwarf and black holes will exist uh, in our universe after a few trillion years. So this is something which uh, uh, you must know as a trivia that Proxima Centauri is going to last and uh, outshine the sun well as i said uh, uh, most of the energy which is uh, uh, which is uh, released by red dwarf is in the invisible spectrum of infrared light however uh, because the star uh, has a lot of material and uh, it, it, it 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 has a lot of hydrogen which is free to float around in the form of plasma uh, there is a very high magnetic uh, uh, energy which is produced inside red dwarf and sometimes within a, uh, you know, a few minutes the entire magnetic energy uh, is released. It's like uh, the solar storms we experience on sun. Similarly, the magnetic uh, red dwarf storms are experienced on uh, Proxima Centauri 
and these are very very dangerous uh, magnetic storm because the lot of energy is released uh, in a very short period of time so even if there is a, a life living on uh, one of the planets uh, around proxima centauri uh, chances are the the life may be totally different because uh, and, you know being a red dwarf it will emit all these uh, very strong uh, storms magnetic storms and uh, if such kind of magnetic storms are uh, happen to hit earth most of the life on earth will fry instantly so that the life that we we expect to exist on the planet around proxima uh, centauri may be uh, of a different kind which can withstand this uh, radiation and all the magnetic activity which uh, happens on the red uh, red uh, dwarf uh, stars including proxima centauri and uh, the magnetic field is produced because of the uh, lot of activity going on inside the star and uh, as i mentioned already that the entire star is made of uh, hydrogen and the thermonuclear reaction is happening in the entire star that means it is not the core which is most active the star itself is very active and uh, because of that uh, the hydrogen which exists in the form of plasma is free to move around and since it is moving around it creates a very very strong magnetic field so uh, even though star is small so it will have a less gravity and the planets will be moving around closer to it because of the less gravity compared to sun but uh, uh, you know red dwarfs are very very strong magnets and uh, proxima centauri is not so different it is a very strong magnet and there is a lot of magnetism in the uh, in the whole system around uh, uh, proxima centauri so we will have to basically analyze what kind of conditions exist around this uh, red dwarf which is closest to uh, earth and a uh, lot of uh, you know uh, debate is going on in the science uh, community to basically visit alpha centauri one day uh, new engines are being uh, developed which will take uh, you uh, to uh, proxima centauri and as you know it's not easy using the current technology it is four light years away that means uh, light will travel four years so imagine even if you travel it will take thousands of years to reach uh, the closest star so i think we need uh, special technology to go there and uh, experience uh, uh, the conditions there so new engines like plasma engines and uh, ion engines are being developed even photon engines are being developed which will travel a fraction of the speed of light so there will be some um, advantage uh, in living earth and uh, you know within lifetime you should be able to reach proxima centauri so there's a lot of uh, uh, development going on and uh, but today we don't want to discuss all that we want to discuss the 10 interesting facts uh, which you may or may not be aware do share your thoughts and uh, as usual thanks for watching i will see you in the next one